How's it going, everybody? I am back for another episode. Um, this is still the same. Pretty much everything's the same. Didn't really work on anything off camera because um, I saved a little special episode today. We will be working on the bullpens. Uh, back here is a little ugly, but I was thinking that the bullpens will be right here in this sort of straight section. Um, I think that's a good spot for it. Or even, hmm. Even out here would be pretty cool. Um, not sure how that's going to line up, though. Um, hmm. I think we will uh, just do it in the straight section, maybe. I think it might look a little weird if it's on that area over there. I was planning to have maybe like a waterfall or something out here. Something like that. But anyway, let's get working on this... Um, bullpen and then I think on, on top of the bullpen it'll be like a video board or something but anyway um so this is just for a marker let's see here I think we'll just start here this will be the pitcher's mound area uh let's just put that for a marker um and then I guess three in betweens should be good enough hopefully um, and then I actually counted off camera um, the distance between the pitcher's mound and uh, home plate and it's actually nine so we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine and then that will be the distance one okay perfect nine um, in case you don't know what a bullpen is, in case you're not a big fan of baseball, it's where uh, relief pitchers go to warm up. Well, they don't go there. They uh, stay there. Usually, it's usually, I think, six or seven relievers per team. Um, what really matters on, it really depends on the team. They could have more or less. Um, but yeah, they warm up here before they enter the game. And then... They go and pitch out there. So I was thinking, um, I'm a big Mets fan, uh, so I hate the Phillies. But I do like the Phillies uh, bullpen, bullpen area. Um, actually, I think I'm going to raise this just a little bit, just so they could see over the wall. Because right now you can't really see over the wall. So I think we'll just maybe raise it a little bit to here. And then the grass, let's see, the grass will be on this level. So yeah, let's just do that. So I was, so I like the Phillies bullpen, um, mainly because I think they're one of a few teams. I think maybe the Twins have one, but their uh, bullpens are together, and one is actually elevated over the other one. Um, I don't think I could put a picture because that'd be copyright infringement, something like that. I don't know. But uh, basically what I'm trying to say is there's one bullpen here. And then let's just say the next one, next bullpen area is actually on top of it overlooking this one. So I think that's a pretty cool uh, design that they have there. Um, I'm a big fan of it. I think it's cool to see. Uh, I'm not sure if the home or the away is the top one, but it's cool to see them walking down the stairs to get to the field. It's pretty cool. Um so yeah, that's what we're going to do here. And usually each bullpen has like a seating area for relievers that are not warming up. So they could usually watch the game. So we're going to have to build that somehow. So I'm going to see these dimensions real quick. We want to have enough room so that I could add everything that I want to add out here. Block placing is a little loud in my ears. Turn it down. I'm not sure if it will be that loud on the recording, but hopefully not. So I think, let's see, this will be a wall here. So they will actually have some room behind. A little bit of room here. And of course, it starts to rain. What else is new? Weather clear. 
Oh, actually, this all won't be grass, but we'll just put grass right now. Um, usually in the bullpen, uh, the mounds are the same as out there, including sand and all that. So we'll add that a little bit later. I'll probably do that off camera. I just want to get the general layout right now. So we're just going to place some grass here. Not sure how long I want this to go out here. Because I think this area over here will be the seating uh, for the peach for the peachers or the pitchers that are not in the game. And I think this area will be the stairs. And then I also have to think of a clever way for them to have like a door or something. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we could do some piston work there or something. I don't know. Usually it's just like a little gate that they have in ballparks that usually matches the wall. Usually it's fencing, chain link fence in the gate. Yeah, so I think this is a good length for the uh, bullpen. So I'm just going to do this to here for now. Oh, actually got one shirt. Short. Can't even speak today. One shirt. I got one shirt. <laughs> um, and then I was thinking the next bullpen will be huh, maybe two up. Nah, three. Let's go three. Bigger the better, right? Whoa. Moving fast. I like how sometimes in Minecraft it does that. You'll, you'll be like, well, I'm not, why am I not moving? And then all of a sudden, you'll just fly back to where you were, were intending to go. Uh, so I was intending to make just the same size as um, each bullpen the same size so um, maybe this will be the visitors they get a little bit of infringement on their bullpen area one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so I gotta go twelve back I, think, I don't think we're gonna start at this so I'm not at that level Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's how far the bullpen will go back here. So I'm gonna fill all of this in with grass just as I did the same there. And then I'll work on the mounds a little bit. And I'll actually do that off camera to save a little bit of time on these episodes. I don't really like uh long episodes, so too long episodes I don't want to waste too much of you guys time so I'll do that off camera I'll put in the uh, the sand here and then we'll work on like the benches seating area for the players and all that and we'll also work on the walkway when I get back I'll see you guys in a second as I'm back I did not finish this bullpen I uh, actually thought of a little clever thing to do I actually raised this wall one more uh, so it's now what is it Four high, four high from ground level here. And I was thinking, uh, I'm not sure which stadiums have this, of course. Um, but usually they these bullpens have a little bit of like office space or something where they could go inside, maybe like a training room. I don't know. I don't know what's inside there. I've never pitched in the major leagues. Um, but I'm assuming it'd be training or some, training rooms or exercise equipment. I don't know, something like that. So I actually put this in. This will now be underneath this bullpen. Um, I was wondering, should I make it for only the home team and give them a little bit of an advantage? Or should I let the away team have a little bit too? And I was thinking, huh. since they're the home team, they do get the advantage, right? Um, so maybe we could, al we could always add like a in a way in a way um in a way team entrance we could always build like a clubhouse if if it's not fair enough for them um <laughs> but yeah i think this is going to be just or we could just yeah we could split it up it's a pretty big space down here 
We could, we'll, I'll be nice to the away guys and uh, split it up for them. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna do like stairs up top that lead down, and these guys down here will have a little bit of a nice facade to look at. Yeah, I just wanted to update you on that. Um, I'm going to finish the bullpens. I won't start working on this building yet. I'll do that on camera with you guys. So I'll be back in a second. All right, guys, I am back. Um, as you can see, put in the uh, sand in the bullpen area here. I think it looks pretty cool. I like the kind of looks like a, a modern, like a, how you'd build like a modern house with like grass on top. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, one little trick I did here. Is I placed uh, these lanterns underneath um, the little bases or the uh, pitchers, pitcher pitching rubber, um, and the plate. Um, so to give a little bit of light, did that up here as well. Now another reason for this trick is when you come down here, you actually got light from those underneath. Because or else I would have to place light at this level so you wouldn't see the dirt. And it kind of takes away from the, the uh, what do you call it, the roominess in here. It's pretty roomy in here. As you can tell, I walled it all in, except for this little part here. And I got to show you one more thing out here before we get to in there. Um, I thought this was going to be for seating. Um, this area for seating. But this will actually be um, the walkway to get down to the field because I didn't have really any room over here to do that. So let me actually just wall this up a little bit more so it matches with the rest. Well, with one high wall so it's you don't feel really like walled in in the bullpens. Kind of feels like open, which I think is pretty awesome. And then what we'll have to do is um, Go under here. Not sure if I have any room for any seating, unfortunately. Um, maybe since this is the uh, the home side, maybe we could sneak in. Nah, that <laughs> yeah, that gets in the way of them pitching. Huh? I'm gonna try to get like a little deck in here. I think that would be uh, pretty cool. We could always just fit it over here, I guess, or seating if we really want it. But here is each side's room. I think they're even. So there should be no complaints about anybody getting unfair treatment. Um, I still got to do the ceiling in here. I think I was just going to go with these uh, slabs, upside down slabs. A little dark right now. We will change that. A second um, for here yeah I guess that works yeah you don't hit your head that's good always good news when you don't hit your head it's actually I actually had a little bit more work to do I didn't realize I'm gonna put in um, some type of flooring not sure what I'm gonna go with probably wood even though the cleats would probably mess that up. But, um, hmm. I mean, I guess we could keep it, uh, grass in here. Maybe this is like turf or something. Yeah, I think grass will be, uh, actually something you don't see a lot indoors, like in buildings, but I think it works here because of the cleats. And it just feels like baseball when there's grass everywhere, right? So yeah, I'm going to finish this real quick. I don't think I'll cut away. I don't have too much left to do. Um, and there we go. We did it. No, we didn't. <laughs> we still got a little bit left. So happy with myself. Oh, and then I uh, forgot. Maybe we'll do a little bit of 
dark panes so you can't really see them even though they don't really do the job. Is this black? It is black. It's not really doing the trick. You can still pretty, you can see through it pretty well, but oh yeah, I also forgot. Um, since there's windows on both sides, whoever's down here, I guess it's the home team. They could see into the, what the away team is doing. A little unfair. Um, hmm, I didn't think that through. Maybe we could just block one side out. Might look a little weird, but we don't want these guys cheating. No cheating allowed. And those four lamps actually lit up these bullpens pretty well, I'm surprised. Yeah, so it does look a little strange. I don't know, it still works, I think. So, we'll keep it. Um, and it's raining outside, but we are indoors. I think I have rain sounds off, so. Let me just turn the weather off, might as well. We'll keep it night, though. All right. Still got to add an entrance up there for them to get down in here. But I think we will wall it off. Ooh. Yeah, so we'll just uh, delete these. We don't really need them. And then we'll do doors. Actually. For this one side, since it's the this is the away team, so you can't see in, they don't even need a door here. So they actually get less room, as you can see, because this walkway actually gives more room to the away team. So I think I think it's still giving the home field advantage, but yet given some uh, give it some luxury to the away team. So I think it fits. We got that done. I think we might actually have to do the interior on the next episode because we are running a little long. It did take a little bit longer than I thought. Um, hmm. Where to add the little entrance for them? I think it'll have to be right here. Just a just a one entrance will do. One wide. And then we can always replace this dirt. Let me add these stairs, uh, stairs, or we could just do these half slabs since it, that's what I've been using all along here. The world's longest staircase. Yeah, these half slabs sure do take a long time to get down to ground level. There we go. We got our stairs. kind of takes a lot of room. Let me think about this real quick. Maybe we could do something along the lines of this. Huh. Uh -huh. Hmm. You know what? I think they're just going to have to do with um these stairs, and then we could just put stairs in here to kind of keep the theme going. I don't know. Just so it matches up. And now we got upside down. Now it's still upside down. Nope. What the heck is going on here? Give me. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, so I'm just going to cheat a little bit. That. One more. So it does. It does cut into the room a little bit, but I think it'll be fine. Now we got our entrance down here. Uh, let me just change these out. There we go. We even. Where's my uh, stone? Nope. Give me. Rail uh, bar. And we'll put a little bit of railing in. So whoever's pitching or catching down over here doesn't fall in. <laughs> That'd be some bad news. And a DL trip.
There we go. Now they got an entrance. The home team's got more room down here. And everybody's happy. Yeah, sounds good to me. Since actually they got they got actually some more room up here. We could actually because if you see down here, these guys only got one. One on each side, these guys up here have two. So we'll, we'll give uh give the away guys a little bit of seating here. So these guys could watch what's going on. See if their guys are doing well. Maybe we'll throw in a couple more seats. Seems good to me. Oops, that's not the way I wanted to do it. There we go. She looks good to me. Okay. Yeah, so that'll do it for this episode. I guess the next episode we'll work on the inside here. A little bit of training room, a little office action in here. Um, but I want to thank you all for watching, as usual. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.